Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to copy an entire website, including all the images and all the links, without having to use FTP. Additionally, you can copy a WordPress website and convert it to HTML. In fact, you can copy any kind of website and create an exact image of that website in HTML pages. Let me show you what I mean. What you're seeing here is a WordPress website, and if you click the link, it'll take you to different pages that were created by WordPress. Now let's say that I want to create an HTML version of that website where I don't need WordPress anymore, but the site will still run the way I want it to run. Well, I can do that using free software. And the software that I'm going to use is called HTTrack Website Copier. And with HTTrack Website Copier, all you do is click the download button and you download the file for your version of Windows. And this is the version I use right here for Windows 10. And once you download it and install it, it's going to look like this. It's a very simple program. Basically, you have the first screen, and then you just click the next button, and you give it a project name. Now, you can choose a project category if you want. You don't have to. Down here where it says Base Path, this is where you're going to store that project, and you can use the little dots here to select a new folder or a new path, or you can enter a new folder name, and then click Next. And then you're going to enter the URL of the website. And the URL would be the address of the site that you want to copy. Let's say I want to copy that one. I'll just enter that URL. Now, obviously, you probably should only copy your own sites, but there is no restriction in the program to copy other sites, sites owned by other people. Once you enter the URL, you set options. For most people, you're just going to go with the default options, but if you wanted to, you can go in and enter scan rules and limit some files that you want to download. Say you don't want to download all the image files or all the video files. You can set those here on the links, how far deep into the links that you want to download. I just go with the default. And the next thing you do is click Next. You don't really have to do anything on this page. And then click Finish. And when you click Finish, it starts to download. I'm not going to go through the whole process here because it will take a couple minutes to download that entire file. But you can see this downloading all these pages. So let's go look at the result. This is the downloaded file. I've opened it in Microsoft Edge of the browser. You can see that it's reading the file off my computer and not on the website. And if I click any of the links, the site works. So what used to be a WordPress site is now a pure HTML site. So if I want to close down my WordPress site and put this site up instead, all I have to do is FTP this site up. And again, all the features on the site work. Now there'll be a couple of things that don't work, and that's the search and anything that relies on the database. But as far as the pages themselves and the images themselves, they'll all work. That Everything will look the same. Any ads that were on the site will be there. Even your Amazon and Google ads will show up. So the program that I use to do this is called HTTrack Website Copier. It's a free program. It's easy to use, and it's a good way to back up any of your sites to HTML or copy WordPress sites into HTML or just to have archives of sites that you have up on the web. You can download this at HTTrack.com. Anyway, I thought you might be interested in knowing about this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.